hey guys welcome back to the channel in this video today i will show you how to fix timmy from crashing on startup or after starting on our pc so let's get started guys do not skip any part of this video i will show you complete setting for simu to fix crashing problem on your pc for simu emulator as you can see on my computer screen i have simu 1.26.2 now i try to open a game in my simu emulator so i have a game in three folders as you can see code content and meta this is my game i select rpx file and Now I press A on my keyboard so my simu has crashed as you can see. So you can face different issues of crashing problem for simu emulator on your PC. So I have different solutions of the problem for simu emulator. First of all go to search bar on your windows and type here device manager. Go to your device manager and go to display adapter. Right click and go to properties. Go to drivers and check your driver date installed in your PC for your GPU. So I have an old GPU installed in my PC and install drivers is too old. As you can see driver date 2017. So my GPU is very old. So this is why I can't update drivers for my GPU. If you have an old GPU and you can't update drivers for your GPU, then you'll need an older version CME emulator to fix crashing problem for your CME emulator on your PC. So there are not available new drivers for my GPU on the internet. First solution is you need to use older version simu emulator to fix crashing problem for your simu so i have an older version simu over here as you can see simu 1.15.13 so you can use older version so i open it and i go to file load file and i go to my uh, game I want to play so here's my game I select this file rpx file and uh, wait for some time now I press a on my keyboard so this time my game is working now in this semi emulator 1.15.13 so this is first solution of this problem for your simu emulator as you can see game is working now i close it so i have some more solutions of the problem for your simu emulator and make sure the speakers or headphones are plugged in some games are in only two folders code and content and some games are in three folders code content and meta and if your game is in only two folders then you can face crashing problem for your semi emulator for your VU game so you will need an extra meta folder for your game but before using update folders make sure you are using right update for your games so here's my game as you can see my game is in usa region and i have two region update europe region and usa region and if your game is in usa region then use usa region update go to your update folders and copy these three folders from here go to your original game and paste here 
and place the file in the destination. And after using update folders and files, your problem did not solve, then you can delete your old files and extract your old original game files. As you can see, you can use your old original game if you are facing crashing problem for your view games in CMU. Extract your original old game. Now open this folder. So I have new folders for my game. Now I try to open these files in my CMU emulator. I open it. Now I go to my new folder 3. So I will face uh, another issue for these uh, folders. File, load file. And I go to my new folder 3. Over here. As you can see. Now I go to my original game. So here is my uh, the game over here as you can see. So it's working guys. Close it and make sure you have already selected right MLT01 folder. Open your CME emulator, go to options, general settings and go to MLC folder and select your right MLC folder for your CME emulator. So I go to my CME 1.15.13. Now go to your CMU 1.26.2F. Go to options, general settings, select MLC path, and go to the folder for your CMU 1.26.2. So here is my CMU. Now I select uh, this folder, MLC01. Select this folder. Okay. And make sure you have CMU fix files in your MLC folder. Go to system, title, and content. So I have already CMU fix files. Now I go to this one, system, title, and content. So I have already CMU fix files in my CMU MLC folder. And for more settings for your AMD control panel, right click and go to your amd control panel and go to amd5 pro 3d application setting and click on add and select your cme emulator application file from your cme emulator folder you want to use and go to texture filtering quality like performance from here and select opengl triple buffering on and click on apply now close it and for more settings you can delete setting files from your cme emulator and delete shader folder from your cme emulator folder now reopen your cme emulator and reselect your mlc01 folder go to general settings select your mlc folder so you need to select right MLC folder you want to use in your PC. So I want to use 1.15.13. Now I select MLC01 folder. Now I select my game. So here's my game. I select this folder. So here's my game. And if you want more settings for your CME emulator, then right click on your computer screen and go to display settings. Scroll down and go to graphic settings. Now I deleted my old application and I click on browse. And go to your CME emulator folder you want to use. So here's my CME and I select this application file. Click on add. And options and high performance and save now close it it's done now I close it and reopen CMU 
and play the game. So game is working successfully so I hope you like this video if you like then subscribe thanks for watching in the next video bye bye guys